Hello there. In this video, I'm going to show you some things that you can do with random variables in R. Uh, so let's start with, uh, okay, for simplicity, the, the random variable that I'm talking about has a normal distribution with uh, mean zero and a standard deviation of one. So it's like your standard, standard normal deal. Um, and I'm just doing that for simplicity so that I can show you what these different uh, ways of manipulating the random variable are. And then I'll show you other distributions that you can use other than just the standard normal. Okay, so let's get started. Um, denorm. What is this thing going to do? Uh, it's going to give us the, the density, the value of the PDF at any x that I input. Um, so you, base, you use this to like visualize a distribution, but Okay, so maybe I don't start with, with dnorm. Maybe I start with rnorm. So this is going to like give me a in, as many instantiations of a standard normal of a standard normally distributed random variable as I ask for. So let me get 10,000 of them. Okay? By default, the mean will be 0 and the standard deviation will be 1. Oops. I didn't actually want it to do all that. Um, what I meant to do was actually assign this so that I can refer to it and do stuff with it. Um, so let's get our histogram of x. Ah, so now we have a good idea of what it looks like. So suppose we wanted to visualize the density more precisely. Okay, so this is where we can use our D norm. Sorry, I'm gonna clear this out because that's that's a bit many numbers to look at. Um, okay, so so great. Let's say we we could see from that histogram that most of the action then is between negative four and four. So let's say let's call D norm on a sequence. So we're basically just gonna count up from negative four. Four by you know, some number. It doesn't. It doesn't really matter what. Um. Okay. Oops. Gosh, I did it again. Again, I should have. I wanted to assign that. Um. So what I actually want to do now is I want to plot the sequence itself um, against the densities. And let's see what I get. Okay, it gave me this kind of thing, which actually looks kind of cool, but here, let me go back in and change that so that we are saying that the type is equal to quote lowercase l <laughs> which lets <laughs> which lets r know to like connect it smoothly here and there it is there's our we've drawn our standard normal so we've done uh, d norm we've done r norm there's two remaining things that we need to to take a look at which are p norm and q norm and p norm and q norm are inverses of each other. Um, so, so suppose you you want to know how much mass has accumulated up to some x that you say, um, and you specify the x. I'll tell you how much prob how much probability mass has accumulated behind that. Um, so hopefully for our standard normal. Uh, at zero, what do we want? How much mass should have accumulated? <laughs> uh, well, half of it. Okay, so that, that worked out great. Um, and then Q norm takes us in the reverse direction. I want to know the x at which half of the mass is accumulated. So Q norm of 0.5 should be zero, which, as we know, 
um, is the x, <laughs> as we just. So we can see that they're, they're inverses of each other, and they work quite nicely. Okay, so there you have it. This, uh, in summary, we've taken a look at... Oh, wait, there was one other thing I wanted to show. Okay, <clears throat> so it's cool that you can do that with a normal, and you can do that not just with the standard normal, but you can, you can put whatever parameters you choose in there. So you can make it, you know, if you have some kind of real-life situation and you want it, you know, your normal density curve to actually represent those, those numbers on whatever scale you're using, like, go ahead, make your own. <clears throat> uh, and you can also do binomials, gammas, betas, uniform, basically whatever comes after the D, P, Q, or R uh, is interchangeable for any number of different distributions that you might encounter in your mathematical statistics courses. All right, thank you, bye-bye. <laughs>